Now, the Atlanta, Georgia shooting that left eight people dead, uh, some of uh, whom are Asian descent, uh, that's certainly a talker this week. Our Kemi Simmons went to learn what law enforcement has seen and also heard about the communities and, of course, talked to some of the community members uh, at a nail salon, uh, of course, uh, where that happened in Atlanta. Let's get some of their reaction today in the Concho Valley. On March 16th, the world stopped in Atlanta at nail salons and spas, leaving behind eight people dead, many of which who are of Asian women descent. Trish James is a working mother and a San Angelo resident. Coming to a nail salon is a way for her to relax. Nowadays, in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic, she also finds herself to be in her own bubble. I have a really stressful job, so yeah, I need that to de-stress my life. This is one of those things I do yeah. myself. And nightly bath, bath you know? <laughs> On March 16th, their world stopped as a mass shooting in Atlanta, Georgia, at nail salons and spas, leaving eight dead, many of whom are of Asian descent. Fox West Texas reached out to local law enforcement to see if Asian hate crimes have taken place in the area. In an email statement, the San Angelo Police Department and Sheriff's offices say they are always staying vigilant, even though no hate crimes are committed. Christina Lopez, administrative lieutenant with the Tom Green County Sheriff's Office, said, quote, we have not had any incidents in the county, unquote. While Officer Tracy Pyatt Fox, public information officer with the San Angelo Police Department, said, quote, our analysts looked into your request and could not locate any reported incidents, unquote. Even though hate crimes do not happen in the Concho Valley, James says she is grateful to be in an environment where she feels safe. I feel Safe. I, I like it here. To be honest, I like this town. Despite something like this not taking place in St. Angelo, law enforcement are still staying vigilant if something like this were to happen. Cami Simmons reported for Fox West Texas. Of course, you can always see the latest and developments on our site at foxwtx.com.